Hello guys, uh, this is a quick video response to Les's desk uh, setup from Awesome Paint Job. This is my setup, it's located inside my garage. And from starting from right to left, I have uh, my computer set up right here. My computer usually just uh, <clears throat> music, videos. But I do have a file there of tons of tutorials that I found interesting over the years that I just copy and paste into that uh, to, uh, folder and keep for reference in case I ever decide to paint using some of those tutorials or using some of those techniques. Um, I also have down here plenty of uh, drawers um, for my tools. Uh, what else do I have here? I have tools. Files, exacto knife, pliers, all kinds of stuff like that. Sharpies, markers, micro pens, glues, tacky glues, so uh, contact cement, uh, brush cleaner. Um, what is this thing called? Um, instant cure or instant set, super glue. Have my Dremel tools. Um, one, it's a rechargeable one. It's a battery one. I mean, rechargeable and uh, uh, electronic, uh, not electronic, what am I trying to say? Electric one. Uh, some ink sets from Winston Newton. Really, really old paints that I probably are not even used keeping anymore, but I need to go through those to see if that is still good. Whole bunch of bits. And more bits. Casting stuff. Towel stuff. More bits. Oh, my um, hot glue gun, soldering iron, uh, Velcro that I use for uh, keeping my uh, my Vallejo paints in place. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And a whole bunch of electronic stuff, LEDs, batteries, or some uh, terrain pieces, plastic car. Balsa wood, plastic stuff to make, um, making it tighten actually, made of plastic bar, still working on that, and that's it, so that's that area right there, over here I have my Citadel uh, paints, you know, this little thing, I'm sure everybody has seen this before, uh, this is my main station where I paint my brushes, right there there's my wet palette vice grip to keep my paints uh, my figures in place i do my base coating on this with my airbrush which is actually down there with my compressor i have miniatures 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 more miniatures in there okay and then i have some shelves here so uh shelves for my air stuff i mean my air uh, airbrush stuff these are just some paints that I use for other stuff. Pigments, uh, weathering stuff, uh, alligator clips to do, uh, you know, grab a certain figure in place and then uh, do a better job at the, uh, what do you call it, the primering or holding it and spraying all those really hard to get places on a base coating. So I have those, those two right there and some other paints this is my work in progress stuff so I'm working on stuff I want to move on to something or something's drying or is you know kind of done with that piece for the moment I'll put it here so I'm working on a lot of towel towel suits and uh, soul grinder I think it's called soul grinder um, he's been cutting half space marine cutting half right there some uh, Trophy racks on the back of him, and some sort of fire coming out of his mouth. Um, right now, it looks like fire. I think I'm gonna change it to green to look more like bombade or something. Flame. Well, anyways, well, that's that area. To the left of that, I have my photo booth, which I'm not crazy about. Uh, as far as the location of it, I think uh, when I need to take pictures, I don't like those lights that much. And I think I'm gonna remove that 
shop temporarily set up my boot here to just more space have a lot more light right here and I think I'll have a better uh, a better uh, location for that boot right here um, this foam core uh, black foam core is set up for my Vallejo paints that's where I keep them my Vallejo paints right there uh, I order a set of game color from Vallejo as well which should be there when I get it and uh, I think the, what I did right here I mean I, I don't know if you have seen this before somewhere else but it's a uh, velcro to the back of every bottle and just put the other piece on the foam board and then just stick it in there so that's what I do as far as storing my paints uh, from my home I this I did this uh, not so long ago I already had that before so I just kept that for my Citadel colors what I'm only doing here is um, moving the paint into dropper bottles it's easier to uh, use these bottles than it is to use the pots so I'm slowly moving those into that I printed some labels label makers just so that uh, that's a better cleaner look I guess uh, down here, what do I have down here? I do some paper mache, so I'm working on skull right there. Um, airbrush stuff, uh, Dremel bits. My R bin is mostly for transporting tools when I'm gonna go somewhere else and I'm not gonna be painting or something like that. So it's mostly empty unless I'm gonna take it somewhere. More miniatures, regular tools, garage stuff. I have uh, over here. Uh, this is regular grass stuff, but I have basing, basing stuff right here, and as well as having um, casting stuff. So resin, uh, most of uh, silicone rubber, all that good stuff. I have my uh, clear finishes right there, as well as some primers that I use on miniatures as well, or terrain pieces mostly, and. I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully this is one of many videos to come in the future. And I wanna show up my work, hopefully improve my skills and have you guys uh, tell me what you guys think of it. Comment, feedback will always be greatly appreciated. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you. I have those topperware uh, bins where I keep tanks pretty much large vehicles, large models. And I do have some foam in there, but um, I found it easier to transport. It's not that heavy at all. It's in the car. It's large, so it might be a little bulky, but it takes, I could fit about nine tanks in there or similar models. These workshop uh, transporting boxes are there too as well. All right, well, this is my setup. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you enjoy it and maybe there was something you like. So have a good day. Thank you.